right light said it gonna set my soul. Hi, I'm Erin Manning. We're here in Las Vegas at PMA 2008. For those of you that don't know, that's the Photo Marketing Association. And this is where all the newest, latest technology happens. So come with me today and I'm gonna show you all the cool new stuff that's going on for this year. We've got 600 exhibitors and 12 acres of trade show floor space. Whew. Let's go check it out. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Viva. have so much fun at this show because it's a great opportunity to reconnect with old friends and meet new ones. You know, I decided this video was really going to be too long if I included all the cool new stuff, so I've narrowed it down to a few of my favorite things. This is the Canon SD1100IS. It's an 8 megapixel camera, it's three times optical zoom, it's really cute, small, comes in fun colors, and it's only $249. Have you heard about this new technology? It's called face detection. It uses these special algorithms that detect facial patterns in an image, then it adjusts the focus and exposure so your picture turns out great. So here's a cool feature, autofocus point zoom. It's right here. So what happens is, with the face detection, when you're taking a picture of a person, woo woo, you get their face in there, you press the shutter button halfway down and their face zooms in really close so you can see it. Smile, Eric. Take the picture, and there he is. And you know it's in focus, and it's the right exposure. How many colors is well, it? Just these three? Like a, like a camel, you got standard silver, uh -huh. you got this cool brown, and you got pink. Three. It's five colors. And what do you call this one? Rhythm and Blue. Rhythm and Blue. They're all musically themed. Oh, that's fun. It's so nice to see that cameras don't always have to be black or silver. I get a lot of emails from people who are ready to make that jump from a compact camera to a digital SLR, and they need some advice. So I was curious to see the latest and greatest at the Canon booth. I think the Canon Rebel XSI is the perfect camera for the photo beginner who's ready to take that next step. I'm really loving this Canon Rebel XSI. It's the new digital SLR, interchangeable lenses. It has something called live view. So now you can see what's going on on the back on the LCD. Pretty cool. Using a digital SLR is the best way to take your photos to the next level. Ta-da! <laughs> if you want that creative, selective focus look in your images, Lens Baby has some affordable lenses for most digital SLR cameras. Just look at these beautiful images. I met with my friends at SanDisk and they told me all about the latest in memory cards, including this card that has its own USB connection, so you can plug it directly into a USB port. I really like this product. It's called an Expo Disc, and it's basically a white balance filter for your lens. Eric and David at the booth were kind enough to give me a demo. So basically, if your images have a funny color cast, you'll need this white balance filter. You just put it on your lens, take a picture, and then set your custom white balance for accurate color. And there's a filter for video cameras, too. I visited my old friend Lou at the Hoodman booth and he showed me a really cool product called the Hood Loop. When you pop it onto the back of your viewfinder, you can easily see the detail in your images, especially when you're shooting outdoors in bright sunlight. <laughs> I always have fun visiting Ken at Joby. He has these gorilla pod tripods that have flexible leg joints that bend and rotate, so you can secure them anywhere, even wrapped around a pole or a tree branch. The new GoGo -Go kit has these different adapters that allow you to connect the GorillaPod to all sorts of devices. Here he's showing me how to attach the tripod to the suction cup that holds my iPhone steady for picture taking or video viewing. QuickPod has extendable handheld tripods and monopods. If you don't want to hand your camera to a stranger and you need a flattering self-portrait, the QuickPod is the way to go. Wayne showed me his newest model that's sturdy enough to hold a DSLR or a video camera. And it also comes with a gel pad for bracing it against your body. And Gary Peugeot from the PMA is always a veritable booyah base of information. Lopro has amazing bags. 
$79.99. This is a great deal. It's called the flip side. It's so cool. First off, it's really slim. But then you've got this security pocket in the back, so no one can get into your backpack when you're wearing it. That's cool. And then you've got all this space in here to store your camera and your long lens. And this pocket where you can store cords and things comes right out. So you can carry your stuff somewhere else. Finally, a camera bag that's functional and fashionable. I met with my friends from ShootSack and learned more about this fabulous six pocket bag. Not only can you wear it throughout your photo shoot and have easy access to your lenses, but if you don't like the normal bag color, black, there are loads of interchangeable covers. After taking pictures, you'll need a good printer, so I talked to Canon about easy and inexpensive ways to print. I found a couple of selfie compact printers, which are great for parties or anywhere else you might need to print on the fly. They're so easy to carry around. And this Pixma printer has an easy scroll wheel that makes things, well, easy. I love Canon printers, and this is a great one. It's only $50. Can you believe that? It's the IP2600. If you'd like an affordable printer that gives you beautiful photos and sharp text documents, this might be a good choice. <laughs> I bring my camera with me everywhere and I had fun playing around taking pictures of the guys at the Wacom booth. They showed me some fun things you can do with your photos too, using their pen tablets. It's a really simple and fun way to get creative. The tablets essentially make your computer your canvas. All you have to do is connect the tablet to your computer, touch the pen tip to the tablet, and then you can retouch digital photos, draw by hand, create artwork and paintings, and even write in your own handwriting. This Bamboo Fun tablet is a really inexpensive way to get started. Umbra is coming up with so many ways to showcase your photography. Now you can print out your photos and display them in all sorts of creative ways. Check out this freestanding photo tree that holds your photos on clips. I hope you had fun on our adventure. These are just a few of the things that I found interesting. I can't wait to see what's coming up at the PMA Trade Show in March 2009. If you'd like to learn more about digital photography or any of the things you saw here today, check out my website at erinmanning.com.